Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Karen. Hello. Today I'm going to be reading you a story. It's called No Place for an Octopus and it's written by Claire Zorn and published by University of Queensland Press. Can you see the octopus peeking out of the rock pool? I wonder what will happen in this story. Have you ever seen an octopus? Look at his big long arms. Here we are at the beach. Have you ever been to the beach and seen all the rocks and looked for things in the rock pools? This little boy is having a good explore in the rock pools. Let's have a look. When the water is low and the ocean is resting, I go for a walk on the rocks, bumpy and cold under my toes. The small pools hold little worlds all of their own. What can you see in there? A crab and lots of really colourful shells and some seaweed and something really spiky down here. I think it might be an urchin. And there's me, like a giant, peering in and exploring. What an amazing, colourful world there is down there in the rock pools. What can you see? I can see some barnacles and limpets on the rocks and a sea star. And that's when I find it, hiding behind the seaweed, an octopus. Can you see an octopus in this picture? I wonder. Its body is very strange. Long curly arms, or are they legs? Suction caps and a blobby head. Blob, blob. And it can see me. I'm a little bit afraid. And the octopus is too. Could it be happy in its rock pool? It must be lonely there all by itself. It looks hungry and wet and cold. Maybe I could take it home. I could feed it. Oh, do you think octopuses like to eat apples? Hmm. Or eggs. I could bath it and make it comfy and snug. Hmm. Not sure if octopuses like to sit in cushions and blankets. I bet they do like baths. It could be an interesting friend, thoughtful and peculiar and quiet. We could keep each other company, the octopus and me. <gasps> they could go to the movies. They could read books. We could do lots of things together. Adventures, games, travel. <gasps> the octopus wouldn't be bored. I could make it happy. I could. <gasps> We could even go on a roller coaster. I'm sure I could make it happy, couldn't I? Maybe it would like to go for a swim or to visit the beach. We could collect some shells and explore the rock pools. Oh yes, I bet the octopus would like doing that. I look at the octopus and the octopus looks at me and I decide I'm right. 
a rock pool is the perfect place for an octopus. He does look pretty happy in the rock pool. <gasps> and here is a picture of an octopus. Maybe you could draw one at home. Oh, I hope that you feel just at home where you live too. Just like this octopus liked to feel at home in his rock pool. Let's do a little rhyme now about the sea where the octopus lives. Can you make waves with your arms? Good job. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat and here is me. And all the fishes way down below wiggle their tails and away they go. Well done. I hope you enjoyed your story today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.